Welcome to the kitchen of chaos. Today we're going to make some pulled pork, uh, sort of southwestern Mexican-y style. So it's not the traditional barbecue pulled pork, but it's going to be close. The real easy way to do pulled pork is get a pork shoulder and put it in low and slow for until it falls apart and then put in some vinegar and sugar and uh, maybe some barbecue sauce and you're done. So that's the real easy way. This is the semi-easy way for those of you who don't have a smoker. And uh, you should be starting with shoulder, but this is what I have is a pulled pork loin, is a pork loin, which doesn't have a lot of fat in it, so it's not the best thing for pulled pork, but it'll work if you cook it long and slow enough. So I'm just going to brown those, and then uh, we'll put in a few little items to kind of give it a little bit of more flavor as it slow cooks, and then we'll go from there. So brown them up on all sides. Alright, I'm going to put in some onions. Let those go for a while. Alright, so we got some caramelization on these onions. I'm going to add some liquid now. You can use beer, you can use broth, you can use wine. I'm going to use some wine today. Red wine with pork? Are you mad? What I had, so it won't matter. And we're going to put in some oregano. We'll put in some liquid smoke. We'll put in some cumin. We'll put in some sage. We'll put in some cinnamon. I'm going to put in some salsa, a little bit of heat, this is medium, kind of just give it a little bit of liquid, more liquid to simmer in, and oh that smells good, it's starting to smell good already, and hold on, the world's oldest bottle of Worcestershire sauce that I can't open. Holy smoke. Maybe we won't put Worcestershire sauce in today. Okay, so we put in some Worcestershire sauce, some liquid smoke, some chipotle, some bay leaves, some rub sage, some cinnamon, some cumin, salsa, a little bit of honey, and some oregano. And we're going to put it in the oven low and slow, probably 240 for about 8 hours. Might go a little bit lower, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll check it out periodically. If it starts to fall apart, then it's done. Then we'll adjust the... Uh, vinegar and salt at the end. Okay, so it's been about uh, seven hours at 230. And it looks like we have achieved fork tenderness. So what I think I'm going to do is take the meat out and uh, start reducing the sauce a little bit. Just kind of boil it down to get some of that extra liquid out of it. And take a look at this. Just falls apart. I'm gonna flake this up, and the onions have sort of just turned into sweet. Caramelized goodness. I'll reduce that up and skim the fat off a little bit, and then adjust the uh, vinegar and heat and salt. All right, just tasted it. The heat is good for everybody. There's just a tiny bit of a bite, and it's sweet enough. But I'm going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some balsamic vinegar. I'm bring a little kind of a sweet and sour barbecue style. Still a little bit of heat, so kind of a amalgamation of different styles. But and I think I'm just going to put the meat back in here. Kind of keep it moist once I get the sauce the way I want it. And we'll just kind of let that meat sit in there and soak up the goodness. All that apple cider vinegar smells good. Mm -mm -mm. 
That smells amazing. So actually they're going to serve this with some tortillas, but there's still a couple hunks, so I should break those up. Kind of a southwestern adobado pork sweet with a little bit of heat in it. So that'll be good with some fresh tortillas and we can have some chipotle sauce and those for those that want a little bit more heat. That is gonna be good. Okay, so some fresh tortillas, beans with chile verde and tomatoes. Sorry, did I get in your way? No. Did you shloop me a shloop on there? Shloop? Mm -hmm. How much? That's that's not quite a shloop. Do another one. That's half a shloop. <laughs> that's good. And then you want to fill the rest of that up. Okay. See you next time in the kitchen, okay, y'all?